Hey everyone, my name is Jason and I'm so excited to be with you this week as we talk about people in the Bible who believed in God with all their hearts. But even with great faith, it can be difficult to understand how God can really do something, especially with things that seem impossible. But we can believe anything is possible for God because it's true. So with that, let's sing and dance to Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. A wonderful verse from the Bible that says, To trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Let's sing it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Trust in the Lord. That was great. As we were singing, do not depend on your own understanding, I couldn't help but think about a woman named Sarah in the Bible. God had promised her husband that they would have a baby. And would you believe Sarah laughed? She did because she thought she was way too old to have a baby. That was her understanding. But what do you think? Could she still believe God? Was that promise too impossible for God? Let's watch this Bible story about Sarah and find out. Stories of the Bible. Sarah laughs. This is Sarah. Hi. And this is her husband, Abraham. Hey. Sarah was very old and had never had any children. One day, Abraham was sitting at the entrance to his tent during the hottest part of the day Whew. when the Lord appeared to him. Oh. Abraham saw three men standing nearby, and he ran to welcome them. Hey! He asked them to stay with him for a while to rest and eat. The men agreed. Okay. So Abraham had Sarah and his servant prepare food for the men. When the food was ready, Abraham took the food and served it to the men. As they ate, Abraham waited on them in the shade of the trees. Where is Sarah, your wife? The visitors asked. She's inside the tent, Abraham said. Then one of them said, I will return to you about this time next year, and your wife, Sarah, will have a son. Sarah was listening to this from the tent. She laughed silently to herself because she thought it was funny to think that she and Abraham could have a child in their old age. Then the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh? 
Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return about this time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Sarah was afraid, so she denied it, saying, I didn't laugh. But the Lord said, No, you did laugh. A year later, Sarah did have a son. The son's name was Isaac. Ah. God's promises came true for Abraham and Sarah. Abraham became the father of many nations, and from his child came children, and from their children, more children, until Abraham's descendants were truly more numerous than the stars in the sky, just as the Lord had promised. Wow, God fulfilled his promise and did what Sarah thought was impossible. Abraham and Sarah were given baby Isaac. And can I be honest, seeing that Sarah laugh when she didn't understand makes me feel kind of good because I can be like Sarah sometimes. I've been known to laugh too when something doesn't make sense to me. But it's in those moments I can remember to always believe in God. Nothing is impossible for him. That's why I'm so excited for this next episode of Jerry Reviews Lego because Jerry is talking about things that seem impossible. And this Lego build just might be one of my favorites. I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's watch it right now. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Jerry Reviews. I'm Jerry and I'll be doing the reviewing. This time around, I'm focusing on one of my all time favorite toys, Lego. I've assembled a team of master builders to help me assemble these Lego sets. Together, we'll build a new set each week and give you the lowdown on how good we think it is. Sound good? Great, let's get building. Welcome back to another episode of Jerry Reviews. As I was preparing for this week's episode, I decided to read up on a little history. It turns out Lego has been around since 1932. That's way older than I expected, but Lego has grown and evolved over the years. It wasn't until the 1960s that these toys made it here to the United States. When my dad was a kid, he didn't have Lego to play with, but he did get to watch the moon landing in real time, which is even cooler. I'm so jealous of anyone who was able to experience the space race in real time, even if that just meant watching it on TV. I can't imagine what it must have been like to watch mankind achieve the impossible like that. Today, I have to settle for old movies and this week's Lego set. This is the NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander set from the Lego Creator series. It weighs in at a whopping 1,087 pieces. Today, we're building a Lego replica of the moon lander Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin used on July 20th, 1969. I told you, I did my history. It might not measure up to the real thing, but I'm still excited to build it. There's over a thousand pieces in here, making it the most elaborate set I've reviewed yet. As always, I've brought along my team of master builders. Let's head over to the Lego assembly room, or the LAR, to see if the lunar lander is really out of this world. Thanks, Jerry. Welcome to the Lego assembly room. Here's a Lego master builder tip. Now, if you're building Lego with two people just like us, you can scan the QR code and get another set of instructions on your phone. All right, let's get building. Ladies and gentlemen, this Lego set was one small step for man, but one giant leap for mankind. Oh, assembly on this thing wasn't easy, but it was so worth it. I mean, look at this thing. It's got super detailed stickers. This guy rocks. 
It's got an actual suspension set, just like the Moonlander actually would. I should note that the Moonlander set is recommended for people ages 16 and up. It's got some fairly complicated instructions, but my team and I were up for the challenge. Now, let's get to my review. Starting with appearance, I think I'm gonna give this thing maybe a five out of five. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. There's a lot of attention to detail here, and I really love the gold-plated pieces on the bottom half of the model. It really creates a sense of class and quality. For difficulty though, I think I'm gonna give this also a set of five out of five. But that's not a bad thing here. The scientists over at NASA put a lot of work into designing the real moon lander, and it's fitting that this set requires more care and attention than your average Lego set. If it wasn't obvious already, I'm gonna give this an overall score of five out of five. In all my years of building Lego sets, this is hands down one of my favorites ever. A lot of effort went into this and building it is a fun way to connect with one of the most amazing moments in history. But as incredible as it was, the moon landing was hardly a miracle. NASA made it up there through countless hours of tests, scientific experimentation, and a whole lot of money. It might have seemed like a miracle at the time, but it really was plain old scientific innovation that got us up there. Unlike the moon landing, there are plenty of moments in history that actually are miracles. We can read about them in the Bible. The story of Abraham and Sarah gives us a great example of the impossible being made possible through God. Before Abraham became the father of the Israelites, he was already a very old man. His wife Sarah wasn't much younger, but God revealed to Abraham that one day, his descendants would be even greater in number than the stars in the sky. That's a pretty big promise for two people who thought they were too old to have children. When Abraham told Sarah, her first reaction was to laugh. That was how unlikely it was that a woman her age would give birth. But God is ultimately the one who gets to decide what is and isn't possible. His plans may have seemed funny to Sarah, but he meant what he said to Abraham. Although they had thought it was impossible, they believed God would do what he said, and he did. He gave them a son named Isaac. God's chosen people began an incredible history that is still playing out today. There's this old saying, if you ever want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. It's another way of saying that what we think will happen in our lives is often way different than what God has in mind. Sometimes his plans might seem pretty laughable to us too. They certainly did to Sarah, but look how that story turned out. There might come a time in your life where God will ask you to do something or tell you something he has planned for you, and it might seem impossible. But if we really believe in God, we know that nothing he asks of us is impossible. We have to trust God fully and follow him even when we can't see how things will work out the way he thinks is best. While mankind has achieved some pretty amazing things over the years, like the actual moon landing or this incredible Lego set, there are still limits to what we are capable of. But with God, there are no limits. I mean, he's the creator of all things. That's why we should follow him every day and believe anything is possible for God. What we can achieve on our own is so small and insignificant compared to what God can do through us if we follow him faithfully. So if God ever asks you to do something that seems impossible, remember the story of Abraham and Sarah before you make up your mind. You never know what God might do. That's it for today. We've got one more Lego set to review next week, and I can't wait to share my thoughts with you. See you guys then. I totally agree with that five out of five rating because I love space. But as impossible as it seemed to not only fly to the moon, but also walk on it, it's still such a small comparison to things that God's capable of. He's bigger and greater than all things. While nothing's impossible for God, that doesn't mean God will always give me what I want, but he will always help me with the things I need in the way he knows is best. So the things that happen in your life that seem impossible, don't forget, you can talk to God about how you feel about those things. In fact, we can be honest with God about how we feel. We can be like Sarah and laugh. We can tell God if we're confused or upset or excited. We can even ask him our questions. We can talk to God about anything. And as you talk to him, remember who it is we get to be friends with. He's God, the creator of all things. We can believe that nothing is impossible for him. Well, friends, I'm so glad you joined me for church today. It's so awesome to read the Bible and get to know God through the lives of people like Abraham and like Sarah. Don't forget, there are more activities for you online at SaddlebackKids.com. Check it out, 
and I'll see you right back here next week. Bye.